question is what leads to the fear of death so there are so many questions we come across why we get sadness why we get lot of problems in our life the reason behind fear grief you know cruelty so when people steps into spirituality these are the questions which leads them to get the right answer namaste and welcome one more time in the episode of spiritual bits i'm kavita your host your friend so friends we have one more time our demo's guest our friend shikant sir who is also author and counseling psychotherapist sir ji welcome namaste i am very excited to uh, have one more session with you i am equally yes so before jumping into the uh, you know the last question the fear of death why we get this fear we have to go through lot of other questions which which help us to understand more into detail so the worldly questions with spiritual answers yes these are the ultimate subjects we are discussing so so my first question is what is the and where is the origin of fear why we get fear yes this is a very common question and everyone wants to know like what is the origin of fear there are two three origins one is like in an, one of our sessions on past life regression we discussed about like we have the past lives as well so there is unfinished business in our past life and that is one of the reason that we are carrying that fear in the present life that is one reason and second thing is like childhood traumas most of the children today are born are not having the natural delivery natural the process of uh, pregnancy the delivery is not natural so it, it is they are going coming out through c section so because of this uh, they have lot of childhood traumas during this uh, that process and the third uh, reason is like the family the neighborhood the society where they are, are growing up so that also has impact on their life and this develops in, into a fear right so yeah. the all traumas and the pattern which they are following from childhood that is the main reason and moving ahead the uh, reason behind grief sadness yes well mostly they are suffering with sadness whatever happens they become sad and uh, other so many traumas they have so why why normally they get sad or why they carry the emotion of grief most people are like they wanted to be unhappy whatever you they have they they have they are filthy rich also they have good health but they uh, pretend in a manner as if they do not have anything so in that state there are few category of persons few category of persons like the food what they eat that generates a kind of a grief in them because the animal is cut into pieces so when they eat that kind of a food that is a unnatural food so that that will have the impact on the person who is eating that one the grief of the animal which he is eating that transfers the emotions of the animal of that creature into the person who is eating it so there are the two reasons uh, this thing and apart from this yes he he might have various serious issues during his childhood time or with the parents maybe the parents uh, uh, relationship was not good so so many reasons so this dwells into a state of a grief but grief is a temporary state until unless you accept it and move ahead mm. but when the grief is prolonged then it will take you into a different path either he goes into a suicidal tendency he starts taking alcohol drugs or any kind of this thing so it is better that he comes out of grief very quickly and during this any person who is in grief i suggest that their parents their friends and the persons who are very close to him should approach him or her and tell them the ways to come out of grief right right yeah very well said and uh, if we see this world is maximum or full of we can say cruelty yes from where it comes when we were in the like olden age 
golden age where we, we were hunting the animals at that time. So at that time, yes, we, we had no option. We, there was no discovery of fire or anything. So we were hunting down the animals. So at that time, uh, like we were hunting and eating it without even uh, like cooking it and this thing. But, they, but even today, we are suffering with the uh, uh, cruelty, this thing. Why means the roots are again with the food. What kind of food you eat? Chesa an vesa man. So what kind of food you are eating, you become that. So if you are eating the flesh of uh, one animal, which is grief sticken, which is in constant fear, which is dumped into a, a lonely uh, cages and this thing, and then you are eating that one. That means the emotions what the creature is having is ultimately transferred to you. So that is the reason you have cruelty. A person who is able to cut the neck of a hen, he also will not feel to cut the head of a person also. So that is the level of cruelty. And yes, and it is again driven by the uh, emotions called ego, anger, lust, greed and all this impacts. So the main source, I personally feel that it is from the food what you eat. So the food is a sattvic food that is uh, filled with vegetable, fruits and this thing. Herbivorous food, then the cruelty level is low. But if your intake is from the slaughter of an animal, then the cruelty levels are very high. And it also impacts the other emotions in you, which are negative emotions, anger, greed, lust, all these things will automatically will be arised in you because these are not your emotions. These are the emotions of that creature which it has experienced from past so many years uh, during the upbringing of that animal. It was beaten, it was thrown into a lonely cell and what not. And all these emotions are transferred to you if you eat that food, uh, the killed animal's creature, what you are eating. So all the emotions are getting transferred to you. And that generates the cruelty in you. Very well said. Uh, I mean, all these negative emotions as we discussed about yeah. grief before and then cruelty now. So, as you said, what we eat, we become. Yeah. Just the unvesaman. So, the way we eat, even if we remember in childhood, if we got a, a single slap also from our parents, we used to get fear, right? Yeah. We used to uh, fear a lot. And just we can imagine that by a small slap if we get such kind of fear how an animal must be going through if it is getting uh, slaughtered if you know the fear of getting died yeah so even human we have fear of death every single time we feel maybe an accident we might have experienced or yeah. uh, or any any kind of maybe in a chronic illness we might have experienced so we can understand and we should really think upon it that what we are eating yes and if we don't want to make our life hell it is already hell and we can still come out of it if we are ready to correct our actions yes but human being we are maximum ignorant yes just before you discussed the emotions all these negative emotions yes why it emerged right so, could you please elaborate more this topic because it's very much interesting. First is whatever you are eating that right. makes the basic source. Right. And the second thing is the upbringing of the child from, from the childhood. And the third thing is the childhood traumas while at the time of uh, birth, childbirth. So, what was the situation and uh, these things. So, childhood uh, traumas also emerges from there. And the third thing is the parental environment. Like if see, uh, if uh, there is abusive relationship between a uh, father and mother, then that will also impact the person and that will impact his emotions also. And the way he is seeing the world differs. The child first people, uh, the parents. So if they are all right, then he through them he is seeing the world. So if they are not not good, then the, the way he is looking the world, it differs. So it again have a different impact. So the emotions arises like once he reaches the age of 12, as uh, in other session also we were discussing like the child like uh, from uh, 5 years to 11 years, he is ready to listen to everyone. Like he is ready to listen to parents, teachers that there is not, uh, there is a no problem time. Once he attains the age of 12, so he experiences the change of body, the body changes. 
if he if he, in case of uh, male like he will have mustaches or anything the change even the female also their body there are some changes happening there and their emotions are changing so at this age group like they will start to evolve as their own like uh, they they start thinking about uh, what is life and how i have to go like the individuality grows in them so that is the reason it is called the, from age 12 to 16 it is a very problematic group because till 11 years like every they are accepting what the parents are telling teachers are telling but once they attain the 12 years so the emotions are arising in them the changes are happening so they are, they themselves are not able to understand like how to deal with the emotions how to deal with the the new things happening in them even uh, the young child the the young girl who is grown into a young lady so people start to look at her differently so she is not able to understand like how to take this thing and the body changes there are so many changes within her body even for the male he is his voice also becoming a hoarse voice so his voice also changing and he generates the mustaches and so many things and body changes are happening so his his shoulder is growing so all these things changes happens so with this the emotional changes also happens so that is where the emotions also start developing within them so in this manner uh, it goes and and as the life goes on there are so many incidents like once they get a uh, job they have certain kind of emotion once they become parent they become the parent of one child two child again these uh, the emotions keep on changing till they reach uh, the a 70 years 80 years after the retirement they have another emotions so there are so many emotions come up with the change of everything so uh, one of the psychologist has rightly said that every 10 years there is a change in our life and if we observe them like you will find it like uh, every 10 years the pattern of life is changing right. naturally yes very well said that is uh, seen and even we have experienced that thing yes and uh, as you said that age group especially yes. after crossing 11 years when we enter into teenage yeah so these are the reasons why people generally they carry maximum negative emotions from that time yes when when body mind and uh, you know i mean our physical body our mental body yes. emotional body all are interconnected with each other yes. right and moving ahead there are so many natural calamities yes. right earthquakes landslides and tsunami so why these things are happening when there is a negativity on the earth the earth is also not able to take that kind of negativity the more negativity it is taking it is more tuned to like release that negativity there are certain point of places where there volcanic eruptions happen there are landslides tsunamis and earthquakes so this is the way of earth to liberate the negative emotions or negativity on the earth because see uh, when we are in lot of stress then what we will do we will go out for long drive or we go out and have some some kind of sport like badminton tennis or anything we chat with our friends to release the stress at, at the workplace in the similar manner then when there is a lot of negativity on the earth the it is the earth's way of releasing the negativity through volcanic eruptions tsunamis landslides and all these things so why uh, uh, these uh, these negativity come because there is a slaughtering of lot of animals in, at that particular place a lot of women and child are abused or they are tortured at that particular place the rate is very high or uh, so many things which happen which are against the laws of human so all these things the animal are tortured or the humans are tortured at that particular place or the lot of negative activities takes place in that particular place then it becomes the source of negativity and all these things are absorbed by the earth and when the level increases the maximum level increases then you will experience the uh, what you call the tsunamis or the earthquakes the peak uh, of negative. yeah the peak of negative and i will take one uh, uh, example which happened some time back in kerala there was a large slaughtering of cows mm -hmm. for some reason some festival season or something because they wanted to have they wanted to taste the flesh of the cows and this thing so that was the the massive reason that after the this incident within the two weeks or three weeks the kerala was flooded with the uh, tsunami 
it was flooded with uh, water the entire place was logged with the water see you have done one negative activity and that was one action and the reaction of the earth was the, uh, there was tsunami at that place so that is how the action if you are doing one action there is a equal opposite reaction from the earth so the more the man kind is doing action that is especially negative action you will face lot of uh, negative reaction from the earth so it is better we understand this uh, uh, logic or simple formula and uh, let us start doing good things for the nature good things for the humanity good things for our fellow br uh, brothers that is animals and everything animals animal kingdom bird kingdom plant kingdom. plant kingdom yes in this manner we can stop all this the wrath of uh, earth yes yes so little bit of awareness is important we need to understand we need to be mindful we need to as we go through some challenges in the form of chronic illness or as we discussed before what we eat we become yes so that is a small example from our own example we can understand yes so if we relate the same thing with our uh, mother earth the same thing is happening there also yes so if we do some negative karma or negative deeds the reflection is in that manner yes in in the form of tsunamis landslides or earthquakes volcanic eruption being a human being a mother or being a lady or uh, you know the female creature on this planet earth we can learn from them yes even after crossing a certain level they also cannot take more pain yes so same with mother earth in that example i will just elaborate that one one woman is a housewife is there she is taking care of daily course of the family she is uh, preparing food for, for her husband she is preparing food for her children and sending them to school sending her husband to ho office and everything so whenever like if her husband is scolding her uh, for so many other reasons or maybe he did not like the food or the way she served him or with the kind of emotion uh, she served him so finally she is she also get upset see after doing these many works also he is not happy so uh, out of that upsetness or uh, out of that low emotion she even starts beating her child also the child is nowhere in the picture but to remove her uh, uh, to release her stress or frustration she hits the child and when she realizes that what she has done is wrong again she takes care of the child and then it goes on but as you were telling i thought uh, maybe i should quote this example yes yes very so nice if sense. if it is happening in the human kingdom you can imagine what is happening with the earth mother, mother yes, earth yeah yes. it is it is uh, the mother earth is taking care of not only humans but it is taking care of the animal kingdom plant kingdom aquatic kingdom the bird kingdom and so many other kingdom insect kingdom and there are so many other kingdoms also mineral kingdom and uh, so there are so many kingdoms which um, a man has not discovered yet that is also taken care by mother it is a vast thing she is taking care so she also needs stress uh, busting thing or something like that yeah and it's always better to when we understood when we when we start listening all these things from our uh, you know surroundings we should be little bit mindful and conscious of what we are doing the way we are thinking what we are really creating in our life yes and next question comes why these problems happen i mean see all these are we are maximum discussing about problems yes. challenges why this thing come in our life the root cause of problem is like we are not happy with what we have so i am not contented with what i have i am always looking for more so the this heart wants more and more so if you are not satisfied with what you have the wealth you have the blessings you you are if you are not counting your blessings then there is always a problem you are not happy and you will you will see that everywhere there is a problem and one more thing is like you are not connected when you are not connected with your own self that becomes one of the bigger reason like when you are doing meditation you are connected with your own self when you are connected with your own self the problem earlier before meditation the problem looks like like it is bigger than you but after meditation the same problem looks uh, very smaller than you so um, that is how the perception of seeing the problem changes and yes you will gain the inner strength 
to face the problem. I, I don't say that the problems will vanish, but the way you see the problems will definitely change. Earlier you were not able to face the problem, but after doing meditation, yes, you will gain the inner strength to face the problem. For example, you have taken a loan for your house, construction of your house and you are not able to pay in time and in the meantime you lost your job. That was the main source uh, for you to pay the EMI. So once you are not doing meditation, then you will, be, you will go into a depressive state where you may even end up in uh, suicidal tendency or anything. But after doing meditation, you will gain the confidence. Okay, I have lost the job, no problem. But I will uh, search for another job and yes, and uh, I will anyhow, I will pay the EMS for my house. And if required, I will try to uh, look for other sources. Let my wife also work for some time till uh, our financial, uh, this thing settles down. Or he will try to ask uh, amount from his friends or some, some things will open up for him if he is doing meditation. So in this manner, like every problem has, there is no problem uh, which does not have a solution. So once like uh, you are facing the problem, that means you are, you are seeing the problem as a problem because you are not connected with your own self. Mm. Once you are connected with your own self, when you are doing meditation, then you will have the, uh, that energy, the, the tranquility to face the problem. Very well said. I mean, the meditation uh, is the only tool which can help anyone at, at any situation. Yes. Because a dirty boiling water, we cannot touch that water. We cannot, you know, get any solution when we are really stressed or frustrated or when we have a lot of other challenges. So once the water is still, uh, things will be settled down. Yes. And the same thing happens when we meditate. Yeah. The As you have rightly said that like when the when you take the muddy water, the water is very much muddy. But if you keep that water for still for half an hour, the mud settles down in the bottom of the jar. In the similar manner, when you do meditation, like all the problems, when you do meditation, all the thinking patterns which are there at the top of your mind, that settles down. Then you will see the uh, big picture very in a clear manner. And then you will find the solution yeah. for your problem. Yeah. And there we, we see that being an observer, yes. not a person who is having the problem, but if we think, if, if we see ourselves as a third person, problems, uh, when we observe them, we can yeah. really work out well. Yes. And uh, uh, can't we really get happiness? Like if we see these problems, once this thing settle down, how next we can, you know, work on happiness? Because I feel the ultimate goal is nothing but happiness. Whatever we do, whatever we earn, no matter how much we are earning, if we are really not happy, then there is no point in uh, the hustle of life. Yes. Right? See, the art of happiness depends on like uh, uh, the goal what you are setting. I mean... Initially, you, your goal was to have a school, like once you complete school, that was your goal. Then once it is completed, now you want to become a graduate. Once that is, the, you are graduated, then post-graduation, then you want to go for a job, then you want to marriage, then you, you will go for children. So any of these stages, like if nothing is, something is not happening, you are upset with that one. So you are not counting your blessings. Are we counting our blessings? Are we telling thanks to the God that you have given me abundance? Abundance. Today we are able to see the world because we we are we should say we are lucky because there are so many persons who are not able to see this world at all. Yeah. They do not have they have eyes but they do not have the clear vision to see the world. Few people are struggling for the life. They are on bedridden for so many uh, so many days or months or years. We should be thankful that you no know, we are able to move and we are able to do the activities what we have. So we should be happy with what we have. It doesn't mean that uh, you have to settle down for low. But yes, in, in, in the quest of achieving the goal, you don't forget uh, to be playful with your family. You enjoy the life with your family, with your kids, with your friends. Take out time to have some time for your own self. See, you have set a goal, but in achieving that goal, you should not lose your health. You should not lose your family. You should not lose your friends. You should not lose yourself. 
after losing all these things, if you achieve the goal also, if there is nobody to congratulate you, then what is the use of attaining the goal? Yes. yes. If you know the big picture that yes, uh, something I have to achieve, yes, everyone has to achieve. But what is the price you have to pay? That that is more important. You can achieve anything in in the life, but at not at the cost of your dear ones. As you said, after achieving our goal, also if somebody, if people or friends are not there to congratulate, then what is the use of that? Yes. So when I was talking about the happiness, and you know, we see the leaders or spiritual uh, people or uh, you know uh, those who are on top. they make certain system called team yes right to build something to work together as somebody says very clearly that if you want to go uh, fast yes you walk alone but to be happy walk together yes right so my question is like can't people stay alone and is that good or bad yes like if you see the nature like the birds always uh like go together right one is the male bird and female bird they go together the bird the an the plant kingdom or the animal kingdom or any kingdom for that matter they are not alone they are with someone uh, the god has designed male and female that they should come together they should experience the world together maybe as a good friends husband and wife brother sister so many so many relationships are there i will not go deeper into it but life is to experience everything spiritual beings having human experience and not human beings having spiritual experience so if you understand this big picture then you will come to know that we are here to experience everything we are already uh, from the higher worlds uh, experiencing this world i will tell you one example that if someone is going to die tomorrow itself then what he will do he will enjoy this moment right yes. see tomorrow uh, at uh, morning 7 o'clock i am going to die let me enjoy this moment he will uh, he will not be uh, he will not quarrel with anybody and he will have no regrets of the life whatever gather the good moments what uh, he has gathered until now and he will be very thankful to the people around him he will be thankful to, uh, uh, to his parents to his spouse to his children friends relatives uh, they have supported uh, them uh, for the entire life uh, in that similar manner that uh, life is a one shot at a time so you live uh, this life in a very hilt extent you enjoy being here so the art of happiness is to like to enjoy the each and every moment nature is constantly telling you that you, uh, you be with someone see loneliness is different from aloneness in other other things also we have told like loneliness is when you are not connected with your own self then you are lonely but aloneness or you want to stay stay alone Like for doing meditation or for doing some yoga, snas, other thing, you have to do it alone. That is for growth. That is for growth. So for entire uh, this thing, life, you you cannot stay alone. You at least you you have to uh, connect with at least the animal kingdom at least, or the, with the bird kingdom or some kingdom to stay together on this on earth. Okay. And that is how the society like man is a social animal. So he wants uh, like everyone to be in his life. That is the reason we have different different relationships. let like, uh, which uh, which uh, glues him together in a joint families or families that is the reason he came together he formed a family so that they all can stay together they can enjoy life together that was the main the idea to have a family to uh, stay away from loneliness let us share their life together with someone whom you love yes and there are children there are relatives friends that is the reason he has formed the society in medieval time he was staying alone he was hunting alone he was eating and he was sleeping alone and he was dying alone but once once he understood that why he have to stay alone uh, came together they formed a small unit called family then the society thing like this uh, it, it formed into a village then village town and now we are the where we have different countries coming together to make it as a world yes even uh Modi ji is working on that. Yes. Uh, to get united with the world. Yes. Yes. And uh, the in the previous discussion, you were sharing one example of death. Yes. If death comes, so here my last question go. If really death comes, people only feel the fear. 
So, uh, what is death actually? See, everyone is afraid of death. Because that is unknown. We yes. don't know where we are going to That is the answer to. actually. When we does not know the depth of that thing, there is a fear. If, it, if, you, if I tell you that there is someone hiding in that room, there is someone, if I say that word, then it will create a, a unnecessary fear in you. Yeah. Because I used the word someone. Now, now we don't know who is that, who person, is that, who or, is that person or is that per, uh, is a human or something, Some, else. something else. So, the, so when we are not completely aware of the death, then we are definitely uh, in constant fear. See, if you understand that uh, death is not but the, uh, the soul is constant, we, we understand that our body, we, we think that when we say we, that means we are just body. But the actual thing is we are body, mind and soul. All three elements coming together forms one unit. So, uh, when death happens, the soul is dropping its cloth called the body. When the soul is dropping the body, then soul is taking another body. So, uh, the body, the, the soul has taken so many births, but in future also it will take so many births. So, it is a constant thing. So, you have to understand that you means the soul. That is constant that is there from the very long time and in the in the coming future also it will be there so you means the soul the soul is completely changing the body that's all right but the, the soul is always permanent right right the so, soul is immortal but as body is mortal so that's that's very beautiful answer and i think ultimate answer for this question so thank you one more time uh, shrikant sir for coming and sharing your wisdom with us on our channel thank yeah, you so thank much. you very much friends i hope you love this episode please share your comments if you have any further question and please share this video with everyone like share subscribe pmc english thank you so much